Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you what separates veterans versus beginners. Did you know in Monster Hunter to avoid getting hit? A lot of the moves you don't actually have to dodge to avoid them. So you may be asking yourself, well, if I'm not dodging, then how am I not getting hit? And the answer is you're just sidestepping the moves. So I wanted to illustrate this with a video. And in this video, I got Nargakuga here. And Nargakuga is a very fast monster, as everyone knows. And I'm just going to show you how a lot of the veteran hunters evade attacks. So let's get right into it. So you can see, even though he's jumping all over the place, you don't actually have to jump all over the place trying to dodge an attack. You can just walk. The tracking on the monsters is actually not that harsh in Monster Hunter World. The tracking actually becomes a little bit better in Monster Hunter Sunbreak. As long as you are sidestepping once the tracking ends, then you don't really have anything to worry about. So you can see there, I actually greeted uh, extra hit. I was being a little bit aggressive here and that forced me that time to actually dodge to the right. So the point is veterans use dodging as a last resort. And the reason you don't want to be trigger happy with the dodging is because you're actually putting yourself out of position a lot of the time because there's an associated fixed distance with dodging as well as a fixed recovery time associated with dodging. And those fractions of a second, usually on the order of 0.2 to 0.4 seconds, is enough to make sure your punish is not optimized. So how do we fix this? Again, we don't dodge when we don't have to. I have a clip here that shows an unoptimized punish because I had to dodge. So you see here, I dodged here. And because I'm in recovery, it put me out of position that I wasn't able to capitalize on this attack right here. So even though I didn't get hit, it wasn't the end of the world. But again, if you're trying to land an attack after each monster attack, you may find that dodging prevents you from doing so. So that was another good example where I dodged to the left because I had to double back and run back to his arm, I was only able to get one attack in instead of the usual one, two. So if you're trying to get better at Monster Hunter, just try to dodge less. And in order to do that, that all starts with not overextending your attack window into the monster's window. Thanks for watching.